folks, welcome back to Mr. P's Film Review channel and I'm here with another review from 1997 and this time I'm going to talk about the underrated but brilliant Absolute Power produced and directed by Clint Eastwood and it features some of Hollywood's most outstanding character actors including Gene Hackman, Laura Linney and Ed Harris. This movie is based upon a book of the same name and in this movie we see Clint Eastwood play Luther Whitney, a brilliant career criminal who witnesses a murder on his final heist. We later then discover that the woman that was actually murdered was murdered by the President of the United States and his associates and they attempt to cover it up and frame Luther for the crime. As always guys, before we go any further, I want you to hit that subscribe button so you can follow this channel, hit the alarm bell as well so you can get notifications when my videos are going to be uploaded and give this video a like as well. The premise for Absolute Power is similar to another Gene Hackman vehicle, which is the brilliant No Way Out, in which Gene Hackman plays a secondary defense he murders his mistress and Kevin Costner actually witnesses him doing it and he attempts to frame him for the crime. Absolute Power is pretty much the same but I think that despite having a brilliant cast and a brilliant director in the shape of Clint Eastwood, it lets itself down in certain scenes of the film, in particular the final sequence of the film. Absolute Power was written by Academy Award winning writer William Goldwyn who is responsible for winning Oscars for such hits as Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid and All the President's Men. Absolute Power is an edge of your seat thriller. Whilst again it's a flawed movie, the plot may seem a little preposterous, it is still very entertaining under the deft direction of Clint Eastwood but also with the brilliant performances of its cast. Clint Eastwood showed that he can go toe to toe with anybody this man was 66 when he made this movie and he showed that he's as good an actor as he is a director. This is a very taut and suspenseful thriller. Beautifully shot and beautifully edited and the key thing is when I was doing my research for this movie a lot of the people that have worked in this movie have collaborated with Clint Eastwood in the past. This film has some top tier talent and I was able to make a few connections in this movie. Gene Hackman plays the President of the United States in this movie and his dear friend who helped him get the presidency is a billionaire played by the late E.G. Marshall and he starred in Superman 2 playing the President which also starred Gene Hackman. But the cast in this movie help keep absolute power running the float. Clint Eastwood gives a brilliant and charismatic performance as Luther. You've got Gene Hackman as the President and Gene Hackman is one of the best if not one of the greatest actors ever. There is nothing that this man can do. He can do intense, he can do dramatic, he can play comedic as we've seen where he played Lex Luthor in the Superman movies. But he is on top form as the president. And what was so interesting was Clint Eastwood and Gene Hackman, they never share any scenes together in this movie. It's more the protagonists that share scenes with Clint Eastwood, in particular Dennis Haywood, who is one of the Secret Service agents out to kill Luthor. You've got the brilliant Ed Harris, as Seth Franklin, the detective trying to unravel what actually occurred. And the scenes between he and Clint Eastwood were just brilliant. And Ed Harris is an actor that no matter what screen he is on, be it small screen, big screen, or stage, he gives a commanding performance and he certainly does that in this movie. And he holds his own against the legendary Clint Eastwood. We see Laura Linney who plays Luther's daughter and she adds great sentiment to the role. Absolute Power explores the fractured relationship between Laura Linney's character and Clint Eastwood's character. And I like the dynamic between the two and it was really interesting to see the relationship between the two, especially how she never calls him dad, sometimes she calls him Luther. And Laura Linney always gives an excellent performance and she would reunite with Clint Eastwood in 2003's Mystic River. And I love the musical score here, which matched the tone of the film, which was taut and suspenseful. Lenny Niehorst has collaborated with Clint Eastwood on countless films of his. He's given us a very tense and very gripping musical score and you've got some superb support from brilliant character actors such as Judy Davis, Dennis Haber, Scott Glenn, who are the associates of the president who are trying to cover up what actually happened. But where this movie actually lets itself down is in the third act, where Luther confronts Sullivan and lets him know, okay, this is what actually happened. And just how he ends the scene. We see Walter Sullivan go to the White House to seek revenge for what the president did to his wife. I felt that scene in particular could have been a little bit more climatic and a bit more gripping. And when we find out what he actually did, I found that to be a little bit weak in terms of the president killing himself. I felt that could have been executed just a little bit better. It could have been more climatic. 
and more suspenseful to match the tone from the opening sequence of the film. But Absolute Power, if you've got two hours to spare, I'd highly recommend that you watch it. It is a very entertaining, very suspenseful film. And whilst it may seem preposterous in its plot, I feel that the direction and the actors help keep this film moving along slowly. So I'll give this film a very strong 7 out of 10. So guys, that's my review. Thank you for watching as always. Please keep on watching. There will be more reviews to come. Hit that subscribe button so you can follow this channel. Hit the alarm bell as well so you get notifications when my videos are going to be uploaded. Give this video a like as well. Leave your comment with whether you've actually seen Absolute Power and what do you think about it. Comment down below and I shall see you all on the next film review. Take care.